2.2e, reduce. Sometimes we can actually see the common factors and just divide them out. This is especially easy in smaller numbers. As we can see in example one, where we have 24 over 36. I know that both of these are even, and I can therefore divide both by two. So if I divide each one by two, 24 divided by two is 12, and 36 divided by two is 18. I now also know that 12 and 18 can both be divided by six. 12 divided by six is two, and 18 divided by six is three. Finally, I have two-thirds, which, as you can see, has no more things in common with each other, or no common factors. This means it is completely reduced. Let's look at example two. Example two is 105 over 70. I see that they both end in either a five or a zero, which means I can divide both of them by a five. 105 divided by five is 21. 70 divided by five is 14. I also know that 21 and 14 can both be divided by seven. So if I divide each by seven, I get 21 divided by seven is three, and 14 divided by seven is two. Three and two have no more factors in common, and therefore I have completely reduced the number. Remember, you don't always have to find the prime factorization in order to reduce. Sometimes you can see numbers that will divide out of both the numerator and denominator, and you can start by doing those.